go, baby. We're Dev and Bree, and with our cat Tillo and pup Archie, we make up basically nomads. We've been living in our school bus converted tiny home for almost three years and have been traveling full time for the past five months. This week though, we'll be installing new solar panels on the bus and after we get that done, we'll finally be leaving Virginia to explore as much of the Northeast as possible. We are finally ready to do the last upgrade for our solar. We've done the inverter, we've done a new solar charge controller, and even our batteries. So literally the last thing left to completely overhaul our entire solar system is to change over our 740 watts of solar we have now and upgrade that to a 2000 watt system. Before I can do that though, I have to get up there and actually measure my usable space. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the ladder out and get started. Pretty cool ladder, huh? So with those measurements in mind, I found out that I could fit five 400 watt Canadian solar solar panels. All right, so I've just ordered my panels, uh, and if I can get this all to work properly, this thing is gonna be insane. I ended up paying $1,700 for the new panels. They'll be coming in about a week. Okay, there it is. Levi, the owner of this property, he actually is having a solar guy come out tomorrow. I ordered the solar panels like five days ago, and they just happen to be getting here the same day that the solar technician is getting here. And so I got a hold of him, asked if he could help me out. Somebody working side by side with him. Literally, I can't believe my luck. I'm gonna get up there right now and go ahead and take the old panels down and then start kind of planning for the panels that are gonna come in tomorrow. Okay, so we're back up here with the panels. Again, we're looking at 740 watts total. Got four panels, <laughs> I don't remember what they are each. Just divide that number by four and that would be each panel. And I'm actually moving up to, I think, 48 volt panels at 400 watts each. It's gonna be a really tight fit. I think I can make it work, but it is gonna be extremely tight. All right, so I'm just gonna get to work. Oh, baby. That's it, panels are off. I've got everything pretty well cleaned up. And so he's gonna be here tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning. Okay, so it was installation day and Steve showed up. He was incredible to work alongside, very knowledgeable, and he had absolutely everything that we needed right inside of his trailer. So the panels actually arrived just as we started to plan for the panel installation. Unfortunately, we didn't have a way to connect the brackets to the roof with the ceiling already installed on the inside of the bus. This wasn't an issue though for the first three panels that we installed because we decided to attach the new ultra rail to the existing unistrut railing. The whole process was so, so easy once you have the rails installed. So there are two different clamps that we use for this. One is a mid-span clamp that connects two solar panels together, and the end cap is the other type of clamp, and this goes on either end of the installation. So I would definitely recommend a system like this. The rails are rust-proof since they're aluminum, and they're still incredibly strong. The total cost for this part of the build was $378. That's $278 for the rails, the brackets and all of those clamps and a hundred dollars for his labor back on the roof and now i'm ready to finally install the last two solar panels so i wanted to give you guys a walkthrough of what this whole installation process is going to look like it is pretty easy but especially when you're dealing with this high of watts you really 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 need to be careful so i'm going to give the uh pretty much the same advice that every youtuber does this is you know not my responsibility i'm not a professional at this so Take what I say with a grain of salt and do some more research or just hire a professional so that you know it's done right. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need for an installation like this. Combiner box, 
ultra rail and all the brackets and connectors. PV wire, MC4 connectors, crimping tool, hole saw kit, wire cutter, ultra tight, nylon liquid tight fitting type B, six gauge wire, rib nut kit. These are awesome because you essentially drill a hole into whatever you're doing and you can go in blind, which means you don't have to see the other side. So I'll drill these holes in, drop this in. So from there we'll be able to use this rib nut tool. And what that does is it essentially works as a rivet and it'll smash this middle part up against there, creating a watertight seal around the edge of that. And then we can fasten our quarter inch bolts to that. That's what we're gonna use to hold our rails onto the roof. Should be really sturdy, should be a great system. All right, hey guys, um, time is ticking. I just got home from work. It's like 6.30 p.m. and I have one panel left plus some wires to put down through the roof and just some regular like cleanup and stuff like that. So um, I'm really trying to get moving here. I don't have much left, but we have to be done by tomorrow. We are leaving Wednesday. So we have tomorrow night, that's the last night we can get anything done on the bus and then it's time to go. I'll just have to set the camera down on this one and uh, you guys can follow along. Since this is at the front of the bus, I am so worried about wind and uplift pressure that I'm actually adding in a third leg here to make sure this stays down. These are great because they're adjustable. You can see you have a bottom and a top. So at the very front, I'm going at the bottom and at the back, I'm going at the top. And that way it'll create a small spoiler effect. As this air comes up, it should now flow under and then the air that hits it here will help push it down. So I do think it's worth a little bit more of drag than I'm gonna have. Okay, first rail is in. Now it's just time to do the same thing on the other side. Then on the ends of those rails, we're using these little X clamps. These are just end clamps. One on each end, so four total. Uh, wow, it is really crazy just how long this stuff takes. I just keep thinking I'm gonna have time for it every night and I'm gonna have to push through to basically get everything ready. It's like 8.30 or nine. I do have the last panel up here. I'm gonna keep moving on. Um, I just need to connect the two solar wires to my combiner box and then I can start making the holes for my larger wires to go into the solar, uh, into my battery bank, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, that's it for tonight, guys. It's too dark. I can't even film. This stuff's crazy. Uh, here we have it, 2,000 watts of solar. Obviously, we have four here and then one on the front, but they're all hooked up, and we've been living with them for about a month. It's been really incredible. It allows us to do things like we're doing right now, which is stay at a harvest host where we need no plugins. Obviously you can tell it's a nice and sunny day. So we're pumping out pretty good power to the batteries right now. And actually it's like noon and the batteries are already full, which is fantastic. It's not always going to be like this. We do have rain days and our system can take quite a hit. We can last a couple days uh, with clouds just off the batteries. And that's because our fridge can also run off of propane. So if we switch that over and we don't need to run like the AC or the heat, then we're in really good shape and can last for quite a few days. So here's a brief overview of what we've got going on. Each panel has a negative and a positive and I just wired those up to these MC4 connectors. Each one of these is its own panel. So you can see I have one empty slot here, five panels, five connectors, negative and positive for each. So then they're all joined in here the amperage goes up by quite a bit, so I needed larger wires. And this is where I use that ultra tight to have a waterproof system to go down into the roof, behind the pantry, and then into the solar charge controller. So thank you guys again for getting all the way to the end of the video. We really do appreciate it. Right now we're in the middle of Pennsylvania, working our way back down to Virginia so we can get some work done. And from there, we'll be heading down to Florida. 
So next week, we're finally getting on to our vlogs. We've been exploring here in the Northeast. Next week is New York. Thank you guys for holding out and I will see you next week.